Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make it look like you're traveling through space all in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, the video you're seeing right now, I made in After Effects, but there is an easy way of doing it. While it's not as intuitive, you can still do it in Adobe Premiere Pro. So first off, you're gonna wanna create a new sequence. We're gonna keep this at 1080p at 24 frames per second. What you wanna do is you wanna import a high resolution JPEG from Google. I'm sure you can find a ton, but you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's high resolution. So this one is a bit smaller than I prefer. So when you have your image on your timeline, you're gonna to wanna to stretch it out to the length that you want. Let's say here, we're gonna have it at about eight seconds. And then you're just gonna keyframe this. This is all based on keyframing. So you're gonna hit the stopwatch up here, come near the end of the clip and go forward a little bit. All right, so now you have a movement that looks like this. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to right click on the image and you're gonna to want to nest it. And then you're going to copy this and then you're gonna take the part of your image that you want to move faster than the rest. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the above clip, you're going to draw a mask, and I'm gonna do it around this large part of the nebula right here. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna keyframe this just like we did with the first image. So hit the stopwatch here, go near the end, and pull that forward. All right, now if you look at that, it already looks pretty good. To take it one step further, we're actually going to go ahead and mask this clip right here. You can adjust the mask as you need. All right, so now let's look at that. It's already giving off kind of a 3D effect. Now as you do that, you might see that you're gonna get some leftover from the previous mask. That's actually an easy fix if you just go to the beginning and hit the stopwatch for position, then go near the end, and then you can just move this a little bit over to hide uh, the image that's underneath. All right, so let's see that. Yeah, not bad. In fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to make it come forward a little bit more. Again, let's cover up the image below. And let's see how that looks. Yeah, not bad. Now, if you wanna go further, you can take more of the image and create more layers for the sake of masking and making it more dynamic. But just for time's sake and to make this as simple as possible, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Now what I like to do is I like to create an adjustment layer, put this over so that I can color grade the whole clip. The reason why I do an adjustment layer is so that everything below it is color graded and I don't have to tweak uh, the individual layers. So what I usually do is I just kind of make it darker just give it more of a larger than life feel. Now that's pretty good right there, but if you wanna take it one step further, like I said earlier, I originally did this in After Effects and I created an overlay just for the sake of this. And this overlay makes it look like you're actually traveling through space. You have some specks and planets, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, and you can play around with this. Um, if you want to make it look like nothing is in front of here. See how that looks, yeah. So thanks for watching, I hope that helped. You can find this moving through space star effect in my online store and that will be in the link in the description below, thank you.